Okay, boys and girls, so I'm ready to do the language arts assignment for today, and guess what? It's looking very, very easy, and you will be done with this assignment in no time. So, let's begin. Class pages, make sure you're on language arts, make sure you are on week one. So you can see real quick, week one. Now you have everything in the center, and you scroll down and find your week three assignment. We already wrote our summary. We already analyzed your text. Now we're doing vocabulary. When you click on the vocabulary assignment, you will see that it says, find each of the words below in the article, Escape from War. You will find these words in bold throughout the article. Decide whether you know the meaning of each word or can figure out the meaning from the text, from context clues. Type the words with their definitions and then submit them. So here are the five words that were in the story Escape from War. Refugees, charities, necessities, remote, and tens. Now, if you remember when I read the story out loud, I had a few questions in my YouTube video. And a lot of you were to try to guess what these words mean by using the context clues. Now, I obviously didn't do all of them. There were only quite a few of them. So you can go back to my YouTube video and look at the comments and try to figure out what each word means. But you also have the article. Once you click on it, it will download. Here's the article. And remember, the word nerd, he's right there. He told us that there's five words, and those are the five words he is talking about. So if you remember, refugees was one, and by reading that sentence, you could easily figure out what refugees mean. Then we had charities and necessities, that's three. Then we had the word remote, which is right here. And then we had the last one, which was intends. Just by reading your sentences on the article, you're, you'll be able to find out what the definitions are easily. Now again, for a clue, if you remember when I read the story out loud in my read aloud, I asked questions and I asked students to um, look below. So if you remember, it says throughout the video, I have a special, I have special questions. And if you get them right, you could possibly win a prize. Comment below after watching the video. And if you scroll down to all the comments, a lot of you have already told me what certain words mean, like refugees. Some of you told me what intends mean. Some of you told me what remote means. I didn't have questions for necessities or charity, so you gotta figure those ones out yourself. But at least you have some clues that will help you. And remember, they're right in the story. So I created a document that looks like this. Obviously, write your name on top. Then I have the words right here for you. And all you're going to do is tell me what each word means. Use complete sentences. So you would write refugees. are and then you tell me what they are charities are blah 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 necessities are blah 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 intends means blah 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 remote means blah 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 okay so please write the definitions nice nice and neatly if you're doing in pencil or type them nicely in third grade writing, please. And then all you have to do is submit that. That's it. Easy. And then you're done with language arts. Goodbye.